The IPL 2024 is about to start. It's time to dissect the teams one by one. We'll start with the bottom of the ladder team from last year, Sunrisers Hyderabad. And what a big inclusion they've got. Out the top of the order, Travis Head from Australia. Left-handed, aggressive batsman. If he gets 450s, he'll win four games for Sunrisers Hyderabad. And if he, uh, if he does that, well, he's had a good year. Argawal will be open the batting with him. Didn't have the best of years last year, and I'm a little bit concerned with him going into this particular season. You need big-name players from India in your team, and he's not a big name. There's too much pressure on him to perform. And he's also got a mate there in Tripathi coming in at number three. Both players have had reasonable careers, but... I just don't think they give that impact punch that you need from a local player. Coming in out four is Klasan. And I like his aggression. He'll keep as well. And he'll be complimented by Markram coming in out number five. If you look at that top five, Sunrisers Hyderabad will rely heavily on them. Because after that, the batting department falls away especially with the local Indians. Abhishek Sharma will probably start out number six. He's got a bit of all-round ability. And then you've got Washington Sunday coming in at seven. Pat Cummins, the big prize for Sunrise Hyderabad, will come in at eight. He's a handy big hitter out the back end, but he's there for his bowling and his captaincy as well. So that's the batting liner that Sunrise Hyderabad will have to start with and rely on throughout the season. And I think it's just too top heavy, not enough punch out the back end. When we look at the bowling department, we're looking at the spin. I think they're a little bit weak here. Washington Sunder is a classy off spinner, but he's not a genuine wicket taker. And you need wicket takers in the middle overs. He'll probably bowl a few power play overs as well. Very economic, it will, keeps it tight. Mark and Day will come in as an impact player bowling his leg spin. And I still don't think... He's that big name spinner that you need to win an IPL. He's not that uh, aggressive wicket taker in those middle overs. So they really lack in the spin department when you're looking at trying to get on top of the opposition with wickets in those middle overs. Their pace department is fairly strong. Bhuvnish Wakumar, he'll open the bowling with a little bit of swing. And Natarajan will open up with him with the new ball. And then you've got Malik with his genuine pace. They'll try and utilise him with spin out the other end, try and keep the pressure on the batsman where they've got to be aggressive out either him or the spinner, and hopefully that will help uh, create picking up wickets through those middle over periods. And Pat Cummins will just complement overs uh, either out the death or those middle overs, just depending on what the situation is, and he'll put himself in those pressure situations. But for me, Sunrise is high or bad don't have a good middle order with the bat and they don't have um, that expressive or that experienced spinner in the middle overs that can take genuine wickets and that's where they depleted and that's why I think they'll finish in the bottom half again this year.